Governor Walz is answering the call of the White House tonight. He's been named co-chair of a special council of governors. This special council is designed to help show the military and other federal agencies how to use the National Guard to keep the peace in times of emergencies, something Governor Walz knows a little about since he served in the Guard himself. The governor was in Rochester today when the White House made that announcement. ABC 6 News reporter Rachel Mills joins me now live in studio with the latest. Rachel. Betsy, Governor Walls came to Rochester today to highlight the investments in child care in the state budget. But while he was here, the White House announced that Biden has appointed Walls to be the co-chair of the president's bipartisan council of governors. I'm really grateful for that. I, it speaks volumes. I think as many of you know, I, I am honored and privileged to have served 24 years and, and retired from the Minnesota National Guard. So to head up this, uh, this council of governors is as I think a, uh, a testament to Minnesota's guard, and I'm really looking forward to it. The president's council of governors is a council of nine governors who advise the president on issues related to homeland security. Walls and the governor of Ohio have been chosen to lead that council. And I think um, it, it shows here in Minnesota that whether it was the pandemic, civil unrest, or um, overseas missions, uh, Minnesota National Guard has responded to all of those. While in Rochester, the governor visited the Rochester Boys and Girls Club alongside the lieutenant governor and representative Tina Liebling to celebrate the money set aside for child care in Minnesota state budget this session. This is not spending, this is investments and what we see here is investing in our families, investing in our future workers in Minnesota, investing in our future scientists. The governor also spoke about how Minnesota was rated the best state for children during the pandemic. And he says it's because of our dedicated child care workers and our understanding that our children are our future. Betsy.